Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. You know, your ATV or side-by-side -side can get you to a lot of places. Well, let's face it, that most other machines, well, they just can't. Their small size and usually short wheelbase can get you to a long way off the beaten path. And your tires, well, they play a huge part in that. So let's say you're in the market for some new tires. Maybe you want something more aggressive, something maybe in a bigger diameter. And well, let's face it, there are a lot of different options. So what do all those numbers that are printed on the sidewalls actually mean for your machine? Well, if you're ready, I'll walk you through it. So let's go. Okay, so you've gotten online, hopefully at Partzilla, and you start looking at tires. You might see the tire sizes represented in two ways that look a little bit different. First thing you need to do is figure out if you're looking at a standard or metric tire size. Now let's walk through the standard sizing format first. Now that's going to say something like we have here, which is a 27X11R14. Or it could say 27X11X14. Now the way standard sizing is set up is, is pretty straightforward. It just is three measurements in inches to represent the three different dimensions of the tire. The first one, 27 inches. That is basically your outside diameter of your tire. Now on your machine, that is gonna be from the bottom of the tire to the top of the tire, usually on front of your fender, if you have fenders. Now the second number, in this case, 11, that's going to tell you the width of the tire tread across the tire. So that's from here to here. And that last number, 14, well, that 14 inches is the diameter of the rim that the tire fits on. So across the inside of the opening of the tire where it mounts to the wheel itself. So that's standard sizing. The metric sizing, well, it's a little trickier and actually involves some math. So let's take a look at that. Now, let's be honest, there aren't a lot of these and you're typically gonna find them, well, probably on your trailer more than you're gonna find them on an ATV or, or a side-by-side. -side. But just in case you run into one, we're gonna walk you through it anyway. Now, the metric size example I have here is 205 slash 75 R15. Now the slash in there is the giveaway that this is going to be a metric. It'll always be these three numbers and sometimes a letter. Now you might see more numbers sometimes after this general format, but these are the three key for determining the size. Now on a metric tire size, the width of the tread comes first, and in this case it's 205. And of course that's going to be in millimeters from here down to the table. The second number, 75, that is the sidewall height. And this is where the math comes in. It is not actually a measurement, it is a percentage. That 75 tells you that the sidewall height is 75% of the width of the tread. So 75% of 205 is 153.75. Now next, well, that is the R, and that is telling you that the tire, well, it's a radial. <laughs> and finally, the last number, 15. And that's where the measurement switches back to inches. Who came up with this system? I have no idea. That tells you that the tire fits on a 15-inch rim. Oh, the systems we come up with sometimes. So now the big question, what size should you get? Well, that depends on what your ATV or side-by-side -side can handle and what you really want to use it for. Now, it goes without saying that putting the same size as the original is going to be easy. That's going to be guaranteed to work. Now, what you're going to typically find on a sport ATV is a tire size of around 20 to 25 inches in diameter. A utility quad or side-by-side -side is going to run well, 24 to 28. And if you're into climbing rocks or running in deep mud, well, that can go anywhere from 27 to shoot up to 36, depending on how bad you want to modify your machine. Now, when it comes to the width, the wider tire will give you more grip, but a narrow tire will give you a little bit more control. Generally, ATVs and side-by-sides have a wider tire on the back for added grip and a narrow tire up front for the best of both worlds combination. Now you can't just pick a width based on how you want to ride. It has to physically fit on your ATV or side-by-size. 
Now generally, you don't want to get a tire that's more than two inches wider than the width of your OEM wheel to stay on the safe side. There's one more scenario that we didn't talk about that I just want to touch on briefly. What I decided to go with on our YZ1000R project is I'm not using a staggered setup, which has the larger rear tires and the more narrow front tires. We're going with a square setup to where it's the same on all four corners. And the one change I did make, now this is, believe it or not, the same size tire, has the same dimensions, 27 by 11 by 14. But the trick is, I'm running that front and rear and to get everything to clear and to maximize my tread, actually my contact patch, I went with a little bit wider rim. And if you look at it from the side, you can see how this one almost looks a little bit stouter, so to speak. It's the same size tire, it's just stretched a little bit on a little bit wider rim. I believe this is a 8.5 inch wide rim and I've got this mounted to a 10. I think that's going to be the best combination that, uh, that we're going to find, especially when we start playing around with it on the GP track, personal preference. But I figured I'd mention that to you. Well, listen, if you're looking for tires, wheels, aftermarket modifications, or anything else for your ATV or side-by-side, -side, why don't you come see us at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments about this video, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And we just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Partzilla, and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.